Following a brief period of tranquility in the Red Sea lasting only two days, the United States Central Command, CENTCOM, announced on Sunday February 11, 2024, that it had executed strikes the previous day against two unmanned surface vessels, USVs, and three mobile anti-ship cruise missiles, ASCM, located north of the port city of Hadida, Yemen. These strikes were conducted due to the perceived threat posed by these assets to ships navigating in the region. According to CENTCOM's statement, these USVs and missiles were identified within Houthi-controlled territories of Yemen, and their presence was deemed to constitute an imminent danger to both U.S. Navy vessels and merchant ships in the vicinity. The strikes took place on Saturday, between 4 and 5 p.m., 1300 to 1400 GMT, north of Hot Ida, Yemen, resulting in audible explosions in the area. al Masira Television, controlled by the Houthis, reported three strikes on the Salif port area on Saturday night. These recent strikes are part of a series of measures undertaken by the United States and its allies in response to repeated attacks by the Houthis, aimed at safeguarding the vital Red Sea shipping lanes. On Saturday, the Houthis acknowledged that 17 of their fighters had been killed in earlier strikes, following a separate announcement on Thursday by the United States regarding the targeting of missile launchers. The Houthis, who maintain control over significant portions of Yemen, including the strategic port of Hadida, initiated their attacks in November, purportedly targeting vessels associated with Israel in solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza amid the Israel-Hamas conflict. In response to these provocations, U.S. and British forces have conducted retaliatory strikes against the Houthis, prompting the rebels to declare the interests of both countries as legitimate targets as well. On Tuesday, the Houthi rebels claimed responsibility for targeting U.S. and British vessels in two separate attacks in the Red Sea, resulting in minor damages but no casualties. These incidents in the Red Sea have led to heightened insurance premiums for shipping companies, compelling many to reroute their vessels away from this critical maritime route, which typically handles approximately 12% of global maritime trade.